Thank you, Madam President. I'm pleased to address you on the outcome of the UPR process, particularly with respect to the Philippines. I speak from the perspective of a worldwide faith community like the World Council of Churches and its member constituencies in the Philippines under the National Council of Churches in the Philippines. I also speak for the General Board of Church and Society of the United Methodist Church. I also thank the Indian Council of South America for supporting the cause of the indigenous communities. We noted that the Philippine government report at the UPR review on the Philippines in May of this year was very selective in presenting the data. The report failed to mention the very essential issues such as A, the almost zero conviction rate of perpetrators of human rights abuses, B, the failure of the government to press charges and arrest suspects, and C, continuing repressive effects of the government's counterinsurgency program on the Filipino people. The 364 cases of extrajudicial killings that were audited since 2001 was just a sampling of more than a thousand victims. The perpetrators remain free and unpunished. State authorities have yet to arrest several notorious and well-known human rights violators, among them Major General Cubito Palparan, who is wanted for the abduction and disappearance of two student activists. The present government, under the President Benigno Aquino III, has not done enough to provide justice to victims of human rights violations. In under two years of the President's dispensation, four church people are among the 99 victims of extrajudicial killings. Two of those killed the venue Sunni, and two of those were foreign nationals who have chosen to serve the poor and marginalized Philippine society. One of them is Father Paul Stotentorio of Roman Catholic Missionary Priest. The other is a Dutch missionary, a missionary William German, who was slain in two, July 3, 2012. These cases all shared something in common. Each one of the, the victims was strong and visible advocates for environmental justice, in particular their defense of indigenous people's rights and their solidarity in the mind of aggressive development. We respectfully request that this council consider the council. Thank you.